Hey YouTube, I just want to give a uh, 5,000 mile update on uh, my 2018 Chevy Volt. And I mean, really, this car has been really good and amazing actually on uh, fuel efficiency and my ability to control uh, how much gas I'm using, um, when to utilize, using the whole mode when you utilize that in order to save my electric range and be able to get the most out of um, my battery. And I also get the most efficient um, drive on gas. So like I'm able to control those moments when I'm in like a more of a coasting or a um, steady speed. I, I enable uh, anything over 60 miles an hour. I enable the car and put it into hold mode and I have it hold at like let's say 65 miles an hour. And where I can tell with my Wayland's dash cam, which I'm gonna try to show you in a second, my Wayland's dash cam here will actually show you the RPMs of the engine. I'm able to manage that in a way that allows me to use the gas engine at its most efficient levels. So as opposed to like accelerating and um, using like the 33,000 RPM, 3,400 RPM or more, I'm using the gas engine at that low range to hold, uh, the low RPM range to hold that particular speed whether it be 65, 70, um, you know, what, 80, even 80 miles an hour, and it's, it never really goes over like 2,500 RPM at those moments. As long as like, like a really long uphill climb or a, um, or a point when I had to accelerate really hard, um, I'm able to keep those RPMs really low, which is really efficient. And so as you saw on my screenshot there, I'm averaging 59.3 miles per gallon. Now, I'm not, I don't know if that's actual MPGs when the vehicle's running, but as the vehicle turns off and on when it's in gas mode, I'm, I'm operating at 53.9 miles per gallon, which is really good. And I'm not driving, you know, I'm not hypermilling, I'm not driving slow, um, you know, keeping up with traffic of not going faster. So I feel like that I am driving the way I would normally drive. I used to have a Subaru WRX, uh, a 2017 Subaru WRX, uh, and I drove that. And I don't feel like I'm driving much slower than I did when I, when I had that car. So I'm really enjoying the drive, and then whenever I'm <clears throat> going, to, whenever I slow down, I turn off the whole mode, let it slow down, come to a stop, and whatever battery power I regenerate at that point, I hit the gas, or excuse me, I hit the accelerator, and I pull off, and then when I get to 50, 60 miles an hour, then I go back to whole mode. So usually I'm, I'm using the power that I regenerate on that, uh, in that stopping motion, or that stopping, um, or braking, um, uh, portion of my drive in order to use that energy to accelerate and once I get to like 50 60 miles an hour I kick on hold mode again so I found that that's been the most efficient way for me to drive on um, the Volt uh, I had to you know scour the internet and see if I see other efficient ways I don't know if you can tell I have um I have LED lighting uh, throughout this vehicle here I actually installed myself it looks pretty good I don't know if you like it or not um, and I can change the colors right now. I have it on um, It's going in a random kind of color change mode here. So it's constantly changing from different colors uh, and I have it um, Installed there lined along the trunk and on the inside Alongside where the battery pack will be at and it lights up all the way to the back seat there, too So I find it um, interesting it's, it's cool. It looks nice at night Something different to see. You don't always see the same thing. So with all that being said, I really have enjoyed the vehicle. Um, my next um, upgrade to the car would be the sound system. I bought the LT model without the Bose. I've had two uh, Chevy Volts, the 13 and the 2015, and they both had the Bose system. And I wasn't really that impressed with it when I had it, so I wasn't really uh, looking like, oh, I had to have the Bose, uh, I can't get the car without Bose or upgraded sound system because they're still using that Bose system. And when I listened to it, it sounded the same. It, you know, you get past, you know, 40 on the dial range and, you know, it sounded okay, but it wasn't going to go much past that. I don't know if some kind of conservative mode they have it in or whatever. It just does not sound, it doesn't get really loud past like 40, um, the 40 volume setting on the, um, on the stereo. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get, I already have two speakers, or two, actually two sets of speakers, a uh, set of kicker component and a kicker two-way, and I'm searching for a small sub, I'm probably going to go 8 to 10 inch on the sub, 
I don't want anything too crazy. And um, once I get the sub, I'll probably get the install done. Take it to Best Buy, let them do it so I don't um, catch my car on fire trying to do something with this uh, electric car. Rather have it um, uh, wired it properly as opposed to my um, half patch job that I may do. So anyway, that's it, YouTube. It's a 5,000 mile report. Um, really doing good with gas mileage. I have no complaints. And uh, hopefully, you guys, if you get one, you can experience this. If you have one, you can um, tell some stories in the comments uh, about how your stories are as far as driving your Volt and the type of gas mileage you're getting. So anyway, take care.